Hi everyone, welcome to Aphrodite Men and Neil Terry. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to tell you this is take three of this video and I won't be doing any more. The first one I had so much disruptions. The second one I also got disrupted halfway through. And this is my third take, so third time lucky, okay? Now, I have written down a lot of things from the previous video. Um, and you know, sometimes when you want to get a message out there, the devil will stand in your way, okay? So I'm going to try this again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this again. Now, what I want to tell you, and I, I want you to take a deep breath as I, I tell you this, is that... Um, I got a message uh, last night um, from somebody, it wasn't from spirit, it was actually from a person and um, you know I normally don't bother with social media much these days other than my YouTube and that um, but I decided to open it and I felt like yes the message was for me but I feel the message is for other people out there so Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit. These are not my words, but I'm going to read them out to you. All right. Concentrate. Yeah. You have something to live for. You have something to go for, uh, to evolve into. I don't care if you are 70. If God was finished with you, you would be dead. There's still something in you to contribute to. So whether you are 7 or 70... And here's the message. Don't drop the mic. Don't let the enemy talk you into dropping the mic. Because all of us have a purpose. And to do the things that you were created to do. Learn the lesson. Take your journey. Okay. And, and strive to be something better. You're not dead. Keep going. All right. So with that message. All right. I also got the download as I was waking up and um, what I was hearing was Robbie Williams um, to be a better man okay now you can vice versa that if you want to but go ahead and listen to those lyrics okay um, because I feel that um, going back into the cards of what I was receiving before through the cards was that um, there is somebody that wants to take some sort of action towards you whether it's to contact you, email you, whatever form of contact, okay, this person needs to think about their actions first, okay, because I feel that you are very sensitive to a situation, a situation that came to a sudden end, a situation that somebody turned your, their back on you, okay, and interesting enough, through a conversation I was having with a friend yesterday, um, she mentioned something called the honeypot and the honeypot is what I feel is um, you know somebody that that enticed you with with things that were possibly too good to be true but but then they started to put some things into action which you felt that your money was like growing and things were better and you turned your back on on people that um, you know did love you and were there for you but you know as the honeypot starts to decrease so does your money all right so you felt that um i'm going to read it through my um through my notes okay let's go back to the action that you want to take if this action is going to bring a negative action then don't do it don't call don't text don't bother with this person okay because you have wanted this communication, but be careful of your actions. Because you feel like you're wa walking on glass here, okay? Um, so this person wants to take action towards you, but you're both thinking, or you both want to, you know, you're both mirroring each other, I'm going to tell you now, okay? Um, they want to take action, um, but you're both thinking what the consequences. So stop and think. Because I do feel that this person is going to come. This person is coming. They want to transform a situation with you. They do want to communicate with you. All right. You had a fallout with this person. So if this is something 
that you haven't been communicating with this person say from the beginning of this year or late last year this is your reading okay so please take note um all right so um i think you you know you need to keep focusing on healing even though you want to heal this situation keep focusing on healing instead because what you find out may may hurt you okay i feel like if this person comes towards you and speaks their truth to you you'll be okay with it you will because you know what's in front of you you know what's happened okay but if you find out because your um your curiosity is is like urging you that like they're not telling you the truth or um you know what really happened or anything if you find out that's going to hurt you a lot more so if this person comes towards you with the truth you will accept the truth and you will move on because i feel like there's a victory here all right um so you know keep focusing on healing yourself that's gonna that's gonna help you a lot okay i know you don't want to hear this but i'll be honest with you that this person is part of your destiny okay and you are going to cross paths with this person or this person that is meant to be for you is the person that you're going to cross paths with. And intuitively, I kind of feel like you really do know this, okay? Um, I'm going to say that somebody did not follow their heart and now their heart is not allowing them to forget you, okay? Because whatever the delay is, trust that the universe has a plan, okay? Um... There is communication coming in, but you both need to let go of your past issues. It doesn't really matter, okay? I kind of feel like whenever this person is with you and they start to open up their heart to you, they do run in another direction. They do run away from you. They give you any excuse. They lie to you. You know, they hurt you so, so you don't go back to them, okay? But... Yeah, always end up back together because there is a destiny between you, okay? And until this person wakes up and realizes, um, you know, things can't move forward. But um, wherever they are, they are. They are pretending to be happy. They are pretending to, um, you know, to, to everybody, their family, their friends and everybody that they're happy, but they're actually miserable, okay? This person wants to blame you and destroy you. Uh, just keep your thoughts positive towards this person. Understand that they are going through some issues. If you know this person really well, you know that they have um, abandonment issues of people leaving them behind, people hurting them, people leaving their lives and um, having to rebuild again and having to go through a lot of struggles. You know this, okay? You know this because you've been through it yourself. So, um, you know, just have some compassion towards each other, okay? Because I can honestly tell you, um, you know, go with your heart. If you want to go with it with your head, that's fine. But your head is going to come up with a million scenarios that may be or may not be true, but your heart will never lie to you, okay? So you're coming into a, a alignment. You can expect something um, of a sign and synchronicity through dreams or a song. And I did mention um, Robbie Williams, um, A Better Man, if that's the title, okay? Because I'm also hearing angels, angels, okay? Um, just take care of your heart and take care of your mind and your soul. Um, you're getting closer to the things that you um, are supposed to have in your life. Because I do feel that, you know, you are going to be very successful, okay, through the decisions that you do make in your life, okay? And I, I do feel that you are going to be very happy, okay? I do feel that this communication is going to be quite successful, okay? And it's gonna put a lot of things to an end it's going to transform a situation and maybe somebody's going to see things a lot more clearly regarding you, okay? All right, so... Um, let 
And what else can I tell you? All right, so um, you may have built a wall up with this person. You may have built a wall up with this person. Um, because I kind of feel like that you you have transformed. You, you know, you're coming out of this uh, hurt and this controlling behavior that this person had on you, okay? Um, when they do come towards you, you're sort of like in, in fear of a repeated pattern. But this person is working on themselves, um, like I said, Robbie Williams, to be a better man, okay? Uh, and I kind of feel like, you know, they aren't looking at the situation uh, regarding you. Um, they do want to bring something to an end and they do want to start a new beginning, okay? The communication is going to come in. Somebody is wanting to talk now, okay? Um, they want a passionate new beginning with you, all right? Um, on their end, I feel that they were um, tricked and fooled by certain individuals. Um, they're pretending to be happy, but your intuition tells you that they are lying to you. Um, but they are wishing for you to be back in their life. Uh, people have to um, kind of like um, earn their way back into your life now because um, you've trusted so many people in your life and you've been disappointed by a lot of people. So unless they, um, their actions are going to be different with you, um, you may sort it out as, as a friendship and, that, and that's it. Um, but if their actions towards you shows you that they are willing to work and build and, um, you know, move on with you, um, then you will give this person, um, you will let them back in, all right? Um, but they are missing the passion between you, okay? See, you know, they were tricked and fooled by other people. That's what I mean by sometimes messages get delivered in a way that um, um, surprises you. You know, like having this conversation with my friend yesterday, going from one conversation to another, I never heard of anything called the honeypot. So the honeypot is something that is very enticing, that somebody that, you know, get, wants to give you everything and then the pot starts to empty out and there's nothing. And that's the fool and trickery that ended up on this person here, okay? Um, so, um, yeah. I kind of feel like you are this person's weakness or they're your weakness. You know, and I kind of feel like that you, you know that this is your person, but maybe you also know that it's time to give up on this situation. Um, it really has affected you in a, in a very bad way, like, you know, with the hurt. But like I said, if they do come towards you um, with truth and clarity, then, um, you know, this situation has a new beginning, um, you know, and it, and it is going to be beautiful because I, I don't know what to tell you. You do have a destiny with this person, whether you like it or not, okay? Um, you may be feeling a little bit confused, um, about this situation but um, they're com just as confused as you so you know they're coming in they're coming in to communicate with you okay um, they are going to put in equal give and take with you all right boy I'm telling you now you you two you love each other you love each other and everybody just gets in your way and, it, and it's just a part of the lessons that you had to learn I guess before you can come back together in a, in a better way, you know, um, both of you are very strong together, you are, you're very strong together, you're very, you know, passionate towards each other, you are very, you give each other strength through your energies, if this person was sleeping with other people, they were picking up their, their energies, their attachments, their toxic behavior, their, their issues, and they may have reflected all that on you, okay, um, when you and this person were, were sleeping together, there was nothing but pure love between you. So um, it, it did open their heart. It did open up their heart. And they, that's what they got scared of at the end of the day. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the communication is going to um, eventually come through um, regarding the commitment between you and them. 
they want happiness you are their happiness they they want happiness they want to bring life back into this you know they see you as the empress now somebody who is intuitive somebody who is wise somebody who um you know like likes freedom likes you like to give people freedom okay i don't feel you're controlling i feel like that if you do fight and argue with somebody it does come out of love okay um but at the same time it comes out of protection for yourself okay but you are the empress and you are wise and given time um you do see things very very clearly okay yeah i feel like this person does have all the tools and and power to be able to fix the situation um but they're worried about the lies and the secret but as i said before if this person was to approach you and be truthful with you regarding what really happened i think you will be okay with it you'll be accepting of it you'll be trying to understand the situation but if you were to find out this truth on your own it's going to hurt you okay so um somebody is waiting on communication from you or you're waiting on on somebody okay and i feel like that they are you know trying to to think and they are focusing on you you know they're trying to work out whether they should come towards you okay they're trying to work out whether they want to come towards you because um they feel that maybe you're still in your emotions um but they're trying to think logically about this situation all right yeah They do want a successful outcome with you. We are talking about somebody from your past. Now, when I say somebody from the past, the past is actually a second ago, a minute ago, five minutes ago, all right? But I feel like there's been no communication between you and this person for a good period of time, okay? It, it's very limited, very limited because they're holding back. Because mm. they know that they hurt you. they turn their back on you they turn their back on you and you know they turn their back on you see i told you because they love you this person from the past they love you okay there's no doubt in this reading okay they know that you're the twin flame soul flame you know soul twin flame soul mate okay but even if you're not the connection between you and this person is that you have a destiny that is a home that is family being brought together okay that is people that are happy under one roof yeah so anyway um with that i kind of feel like that you need to be a little bit open-minded both of you when you sit down and talk because you both have issues of the past of abandonment um people leaving leaving your life and and um you know hurting you along the way um you know so i kind of feel like runner chaser chaser runner it re the, the the roles keep reversing um you know but the universe keeps bringing you back together regardless of um you know how you are feeling right now okay this situation is going to be fixed in time but don't go looking for an answer i'm telling you it's going to hurt you it is going to hurt you if you go looking for an answer because you're not going to like it. I feel like you already know some truth. But I also feel like you're in a position now of focusing on you and making yourself happy happy, and putting that love and, and attention back into yourself. I feel like that you are going to travel. Um, you may be meeting family, uh, meeting up with friends, creating new friends, creating a new environment for yourself. All these people that have gone towards this person, um, they're starting to see that they're just bad energy around them, okay? And where they were um, succeeding, uh, the honey, the honeypot will eventually be empty, okay? And then they're going to realize what they had with you. So be patient, be patient. And I'm going to read that message out to you again, okay? Um, because I feel like it holds a lot of meaning, a lot of meaning, okay? So, 
take a deep breath and listen. Just listen. You have something to live for, to go for, evolve into. I don't care if you are 70. If God was finished with you, you would be dead. There's still something in you to contribute. So whether you are 7 or 70, don't drop the mic. Don't let the enemy talk you into dropping the mic. Okay? Um, because all of us have a purpose and to do the things that you were created to do on this earth and in your lifetime okay so don't drop the mic you have a voice speak up speak up okay and if you're somebody that just enjoys doing what you are doing and people are not happy with the decision that you are making about doing what you are doing those people don't have good intentions towards you they just want to control you okay so don't drop the mic keep singing you know what did i hear to be a better man and angels both robbie williams songs go have a listen maybe that will help you determine which direction you're going to go but until then i wish you all the best and thank God we didn't get any disruptions in this video. Okay, love you all. Bye for now.